What is up? Welcome into Driving the Line. My name is Alan Bell, and we have a fantastic test intro show for you today. Look, we're going to break down the national championship. We're also going to break down Saturday's NFL games, but this is all about you as well. This is the first time we've gone live, testing out the new graphics, testing out the new video, all of that stuff. So take a look. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. And we will change that up. We launch go live January 15th next Monday. But until then, we're going to be going live on this channel. Breaking games down. We'll be live Sunday morning as well. Same time, 10 a.m. Eastern. Get used to that. That's where we're going to be. But. Enough of that, man. Let's jump right into it. Let's get into the national championship game on Monday here. Let's go ahead and break that down first. We have Washington and Michigan. All right. So two plays here. We're gonna break down. All right. If you want to bet Michigan just the spread, four and a half, I get it. I like it. Honestly, I'll probably do the same. But I put together two plays here, uh, two essential same game parlays at Bet MGM. First one being Michigan minus two and a half. Washington team total over 15 and a half. You can get that at plus 100. Also, Michigan money line and Michigan first half team total over 12 and a half. You can get that at minus 105. And again, both of these are at Bet MGM. If you ask me, Michigan has been the best team in college football all season long, and I don't expect that to change now. I love where this team is at. They have grinded and gone through every single thing you can imagine this year. And you know what? They've shown up every single time and played their game. If you break down how this one probably will go, I think Michigan's best defense against Washington's potent offense is holding the ball, running the ball, controlling the clock, controlling the game. I think that's how Michigan wants to go about it. But Washington's pretty good. They're going to score. And we saw what Michigan's D-line did against Alabama's offensive line in the playoff semifinal game. You know what? Washington gets the ball out quick. Penix takes a snap, boom, out, quick, done. So not that he's going to negate Michigan's defensive front completely, but he will a little bit. They're going to score some points. That's why I like Washington to at least get over 15 and a half. But again, I like Michigan here. I think they handle their business and get the job done. But again, if you want to keep it simple and just take Michigan with the spread minus four and a half, I get it, man. Do it, do it. All right. Now, Saturday, we have two NFL games. Let's go ahead and break these down and see what we have. So, first one, we have the Steelers at the Ravens. All right. As we sit right now, Steelers are a three point favorite. And look, got three plays on it. Now, what I've done with both of these NFL games is I've put together three plays each. Doesn't mean you have to take all three of them. Okay, you could take some of these pieces, parlay them together, whichever ones that you like. But I wanted to put together some plays. I'm playing all three of these. I want to put together some options, parlay pieces, picks, whatever, so that you have options on Saturday with these two games. So first one, Ravens plus six and a half and over 24 and a half. Get that at minus 110. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, as we talked about with Michigan, if you want to take Baltimore plus three, do it like I like it I, honestly I, I think Baltimore could win this game outright because you know yes you're gonna have Huntley up there quarterback for Baltimore but again John Harbaugh and the Ravens they don't want anything to do with Pittsburgh playing them again they want this to be it they don't want to see Pittsburgh in the play they don't want to see anything all right so Baltimore is gonna take this game very seriously to get after it so I like the Ravens plus six and a half like over 24 and a half, put those together at that MGM and is minus 110. Okay, next, the no fly zone. All right, I didn't put a chart together for Mason Rudolph because, quite frankly, nobody wants to see that. You don't want to see it, I don't want to see it, but he's throwing a pick today. We're going to take it minus 135. Now, be careful with this juice if it starts going up, up, up. You don't want to play it that high, but minus 135, I'll take a ride on that. Lastly, again, bet MGM. All right, well. Quite frankly, you get this probably anywhere. Ravens team total over 15 and a half points at minus 120. It's not going to be a terribly high scoring game. At least the books don't think so. But I think that the Ravens play better than they are getting credit for, especially out in the public. So I'm going to take it over 15 and a half. I think that the Ravens can get the job done. And again, why I like 15 and a half is this touchdown, field goal 10, field goal 13, field goal 16, right? Like, I like playing 
15 and a half. I like it at that number. So we're going to take it at minus 120. All right. Now let's jump over to the second game on Saturday here. And you have the Texans at the Colts. And both of these teams playing for something to get in, to have a shot at the postseason. And I think it's going to be a really fun game. All right. First, we're going to take both teams to score 17 plus points. And again, you can get this at Bet MGM. Both teams to score 17 plus points. And also CJ Stroud over 225 passing yards okay Stroud and the Texans this is their type of game aggressive backs against the wall throw everything you have at it right like I like Houston in this one but I don't want to mess around with the spread I want to take Stroud at though 225 plus and both teams to score 17 plus points get that at minus 110 next the no fly zone again open tonight Gardner Minshew over half an interception at minus 120 Nobody wants to see the no-fly zone on this one. You definitely do not. However, our man, and look, I love Gardner. That is my dude, but he's throwing a pick today. And also, Colts to lose a fumble. You can find this at DraftKings at plus 130. We played this during the regular season this year in the NFL. Uh, and generally, we play this on both teams, but I want to play on the Colts because if the Texans play aggressive, especially in the first half, and get a lead, they are going to force uh, Indianapolis. I almost said Baltimore, like it's 1962. They're going to force Indianapolis to press and press and press offensively, and that's exactly what we want. So we're going to take Minshew over half an interception. We're also going to take Colts to lose a fumble at plus 130. Now, let's bring up the recap screen because the recap screen is back, and you will never have a show that does not have one. So, I'll read it out to you here. Michigan minus two and a half in Washington. Team total over 50 and a half plus 100. Michigan money line and Michigan first half. Team total over 12 and a half at minus 105. All right. Now to the NFL on Saturday. Ravens plus six and a half and over 24 and a half minus 110. Mason Rudolph over half an interception minus 135. Ravens team total over 15 and a half at minus 120. CJ Stroud, 225 or more passing yards. And both the Texans and Colts to score 17 plus points minus 110. Garner Minshew over half an interception, minus 120, and the Colts to lose a fumble at plus 130. There's your recap screen there, and there's the show for today. Like I said, it's going to be quick. No need to just drag it on and on and on. Want to get you the picks, and also really just want to test a lot of this software and graphic packages out. So let me know what you think, what you like, and we'll go from there. But we will be back Sunday morning with a special guest that you may have missed. Oh, you definitely missed him. I missed him too. And he's going to be back. We're going to be breaking down the Bills and the Dolphins. Let's just say some um, keys to the game. You can expect some of those. We're going to have some no-fly zones for Sunday and everything in between. But until then, everybody, best of luck. Let's cash these tickets. I cannot wait to be live with you on January 15th when we launch and go full show, ready to go. But until then, we're going to hit it here. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks.